Early on, when I saw the score, it was very, very clear from the beginning the way that Missy had composed this piece, there was a lot that was going to be inside the orchestration. So I decided that we would record Orpheus Alive so that the dancers and Rob could hear the overall piece as the creation process began. This is a case where we have a quickly rising composer and a young emerging choreographer that are working together on a piece for the first time. And this is a very, very exciting prospect and a brave prospect for the National Ballet of Canada. This is such a luxury, I can't even <laughs> like really describe it. Like to be able to come in, you know, four months before the piece premieres and to hear the music all the way through and have the luxury of just making changes without the pressure of opening the show tomorrow is just huge. And I've actually never experienced that before. <laughs> My experience with orchestras up until now has been great, but it's been rushed. You know, you have very little time and maybe you get to communicate 50% of the changes you want to make or the ideas you have. And here it's just such an open, relaxed environment. And that is a testament to David's his approach to rehearsals and also to the frame of mind of the players to make it successful. I could not be happier right now. Usually I'm a mess after the first rehearsal and I'm totally great. <laughs> I was introduced to Missy's music through her publisher and I immediately fell in love. It at once made me feel like I was knocked flat on the floor and like I wanted to get up and dance all around the room and I was really inspired. So when I started discussing this idea of doing a version of Orpheus with Karen, I immediately said, you know, Missy is the person I would like to make this with. So I gave her a call and thankfully she said yes and here we are. I found that the word kind of to describe it, it's very, very gestural. And I think in that way it matches Rob's choreography. There are several themes that appear throughout the ballet which will be recognizable, but there's not a melodic theme necessarily. It's just a little fragment of something on a certain instrument and that comes back over and over. So that's a bit of a hook, very atmospheric. So it's quite challenging for the dancers and I think that they depend a lot on muscle memory and certain sounds in the orchestra which will ground them. And it's inspired by what we go through as human beings. What's going on with them? What does it mean to transpose this story into, you know, basically present day Toronto? And like, what interesting twist could I put on this story that's been told, you know, seemingly since the beginning of time? There's electronics in this piece, there's speaking in this piece, like there's sort of everything and it's a very fine balance. I need that time with the players to make this successful. And I'm just, I'm so grateful for it. <laughs>